Hi, my name is Sean Lonergan, and I'm a partner with IFASI Financial Group here in Tampa, Florida. Through the use of video tutorials and literature pieces, we offer generalized information on some of the topics that we cover. This video is geared toward understanding the big difference between qualified versus non-qualified plans. Qualified versus non-qualified. These words usually come up in almost every financial conversation you'll ever have. Understanding these terms is vital to planning for pre-retirement, retirement, and after. Knowing the difference between these two, these two terms will also improve your knowledge on how these plans are taxed. It's very simple to understand, and I'm going to break it down very easily. It's just that when we sit down with a lot of our clients and these words come up, they have no idea what we're talking about just because they've never been introduced to it. But once we go over this, you'll have a clear understanding. The only difference between qualified and non-qualified, and you'll see through our other videos, is just the way it's taxed. Qualified is on the left side, and it's pre-tax. All right, so that means everything that you put in on a, on a qualified plan, you get a tax deduction. You're putting that money in, you're not paying taxes on it yet, you're letting your money grow, and you're going to get taxed later. Tax brackets, as we've talked about in other videos as well, right now are at all-time lows. Uh, there's a pretty good chance that tax brackets are going to jack up once the people that are 20, 30, and 40 years old are going towards retirement in the next few years. Tax brackets are going to go up. So the fact that they didn't have the tax, tax deduction when they first started contributing to the plan, and now that tax brackets are going up, they're going to get hit with higher taxes on when, they're, when they want to take their distributions. The types of plans on a qualified side are 401k, 403b, 457 plan, a thrift savings plan, and a traditional IRA. Now on the other side, the non-qualified side is the exact opposite. It's post-tax, whereas qualified was pre-tax, non-qualified is after, is after tax. Now, it's, you don't get the tax deduction, you're paying your taxes up front. Very much like um, explaining a Roth IRA, because tax brackets are going to go up, Senator Roth had an idea saying, let's pay taxes now, and that way our money can grow tax deferred, and we want to take distributions, we can take that money tax free. So you're not getting a tax deduction up front, you're paying your taxes, so you're paying now and you're avoiding the high tax brackets later. The type of vehicles on the non-qualified side are Roth IRA, like I mentioned, and the cash value of life insurance, which there's also a video on the website as well. I hope I was able to answer some of your questions. Remember, this is generalized information. Your situation is different from everyone else's that you work with regarding your family goals, your financial goals, and your occupational goals. To get help with your specific situation, you can uh, contact us through email 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, um, through video conferencing, or just give us a call. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching, and I'm Sean Lonergan.